Hello, I'm Jay Buckley, Technical Training Manager at Honeywell Consumer Products Group. Welcome to the third and final module of the 2011 Autolite Challenge Professional Technician Program. In this module, we'll discuss high-thread spark plugs and the specific process for successful removal and installation. To help you avoid costly and time-consuming repairs, we'll review the step-by-step -step procedures, including the right tools, specifications, and heat range needed to do the job right. The procedures we'll cover are specific to 4.6 and 5.4 liter 24 valve V8 engines. Modern spark plugs can last a long time. Many OEMs now specify 60, 75, or even 100,000 mile spark plug replacement intervals. But as you might imagine, any spark plug that's been threaded into a cylinder head for that long might present some problems when it's time to remove it. And some manufacturers have very specific procedures for spark plug removal because of the design of their engines. One of these is a very popular domestic engine family, V8s and V10s with three valve cylinder heads. These engines, which were used in cars, trucks, and even motorhomes from the 2004 to 2008 model years, have a very distinct spark plug removal and replacement procedure. The purpose-built plugs for these engines are pretty unusual looking, with a long ground electrode shield that extends beyond the threads. They also have a ground strap at the end rather than the usual J-shaped electrode. They were crafted with a small combustion chamber footprint to allow the engine designers flexibility in the cylinder head design. Let's take a look at a cutaway cylinder head. You can see how these plugs were specifically engineered for this application. Notice how the spark plug's ground electrode shield extends down into the combustion chamber. It's also easy to see how carbon could build up between the spark plug and the cylinder head. That can make spark plug removal very tough. And at 100,000 miles, almost all vehicles are out of warranty, so the burden is on you, not the vehicle manufacturer, if something goes wrong. To service these vehicles, you can't simply hook up your air ratchet to the plugs and go at it. You'll probably snap the plugs or leave part of the threads behind. And that means a costly and time-consuming repair that your customers will view as your responsibility. There's only one proper way to replace the spark plugs in these engines. This procedure has been developed by the OEM and is endorsed by Autolite. The procedure is more time consuming than most, but it's better to spend a little more time now than a lot of time later. Start with the right tools. Again, you can't use air tools for this job. You'll need a thin wall deep 916 spark plug socket. That's important since regular sockets won't fit without interference in the spark plug well. All the major tool companies sell these sockets, so it should be easy to find one. You'll also need some carburetor spray cleaner with strong carbon dissolving properties. Look for cleaners that specifically list their ability to dissolve carbon deposits. And finally, you'll need a blowgun nozzle for your air compressor. Now, let's tackle this job and show you each step. First, the engine must be cold at room temperature, so give it time to cool down. Make sure that the vehicle has not been started for at least eight hours. You're going to need some patience for this job, and this is just the beginning. Next, remove any cosmetic covers, and then remove the wires and individual ignition coils. Try to clear the area around the spark plugs for easier access. Once the spark plugs are visible, use your air compressor to blow out the spark plug wells so they're clear of any debris. Now, using your thin wall 916 socket and a breaker bar or ratchet, crack the plugs loose just one eighth of a turn. You have to use some finesse here. You'll probably need quite a bit of effort to crack these loose, but you also don't want to break the plugs. Once you have accomplished this with all of the spark plugs, spray a small quantity of carburetor cleaner into the spark plug wells. It's recommended that you spray just one half to three quarters of a teaspoon of this cleaner. That should fill the spark plug well only up to the level of the spark plug hex nut. Then just walk away. This is the hardest part for most technicians. Again, you got to have patience. 
you want to let this cleaner work for at least an hour. If you've had a difficult time cracking the plugs loose, let them soak overnight. That carburetor cleaner is going to wick down around the spark plug's ground electrode shield and start to dissolve or at least soften the carbon that's built up in that area. That's what's making it hard to remove these plugs. The spark plug and carbon deposits and the cylinder head are practically glued together. Give the cleaner time to do its job and it'll make your job that much easier. Once enough time has passed, gather your hand tools again and try to loosen the spark plugs. It's helpful to use a beam style torque wrench. If you exceed 33 foot pounds, stop and repeat the procedure with the carb cleaner. Do this with a little feeling. It's important though that you don't use the carb cleaner more than twice. If you do, you risk hydrolocking the engine with all that fluid inside the combustion chambers. If you do need to repeat the procedure a third time, spin the engine with all the spark plugs removed and the ignition disabled to remove excess carb cleaner from all the cylinders. Now you can work each plug to get it free. Tighten and loosen it, working it back and forth. You will probably hear some screeching noises from the plug as you do this, and it could take a bit of effort. Remember, about 33 foot-pounds of torque may be required. That's normal. Once the effort to turn the plug is reduced, you can remove it. Most of the time, this procedure works exactly as it should. It is time-consuming, but the alternative is even more time-consuming and much more costly. There's one more step before you install the new plugs that'll make subsequent plug removal easier. Coat the ground electrode shield with a thin film of high temperature nickel anti-seize lubricant. Do not, however, get any of this compound on the ground strap or you may have misfires. There are a handful of manufacturers with spark plugs for these engines, but Autolite offers the correct variety of heat ranges and a plug design that exactly meets the OE design. That's important since the engine manufacturer specifies four different heat ranges for this engine and only Autolite offers all four. There's even a special HT0 plug for owners who may have modified their engine. It's a colder heat range plug that's ideal for supercharged or modified V8s. Remember that heat range is the measure of how quickly the spark plug dissipates combustion heat. Installing a spark plug with the correct heat range is important. It has to be cold enough to avoid pre-ignition, but hot enough to burn off combustion deposits that could collect on the spark plug tip. And keep in mind that regardless of which spark plug brand is installed in this engine, the procedure we've outlined here is the only approved method of high thread spark plug removal. So anytime you see a vehicle with one of these engines coming into your shop, Explain to your customer why replacing the spark plugs will take longer than usual and also let them know about the potential for problems. Keeping your customers informed will only build loyalty down the road. And when it comes to the actual service procedure, do it the right way. Use the OE approved method to avoid costly problems. We hope that you've learned some practical information about high thread spark plug removal and installation that you can apply to the cars and trucks that come into your shop. Thank you for your time.